Tortilla Flat by John Steinbeck is a novel set in the town of Monterey, California, shortly after the end of World War I. The story revolves around a group of paisanos, individuals of Hispanic and Native American ancestry, who live in the impoverished and vibrant district of Tortilla Flat, a setting Steinbeck uses to explore themes of friendship, loyalty, and the struggle against poverty. The central character is Danny, a paisano who has recently returned from military service. Upon his return, he learns he has inherited two small houses from his grandfather. His newfound property quickly becomes a haven for his group of friends, who are delighted by the prospect and decide to move in with him. Among them are Pylon, an articulate and philosophical man known for his scheming ways, Pablo, a kind-hearted and simple soul, Jesus Maria Corcoran, a generous and spiritual man who is always concerned with the welfare of others, and Big Joe Portigi, a lazy man who often gets into trouble because of his desire for drink and his resistance to work. Later, they are joined by a character named the Pirate, a simple and deeply religious man who lives with his five dogs and treasures a small fortune that he keeps hidden and plans to donate to St. Francis in gratitude for a favor. The narrative follows the misadventures of Danny and his friends as they navigate through life, sharing their brotherhood and fondness for wine. The group creates their own moral code, which often deviates from the norms of society, yet maintains a sense of honor and loyalty among them. For Danny's friends, paying rent is low on their priority list, but they manage to keep a roof over their heads through a series of clever schemes and occasional work. The group encounters various situations, including acquiring food, wine, and other necessities, often through unconventional means. Pylon, in an attempt to pay rent to Danny, agrees to cultivate a section of Danny's yard. However, the plan goes astray as Pylon ends up renting out space in the house to other friends. This arrangement brings together the central group of characters under Danny's roof, where they share in the Torellian joys of camaraderie, wine, and their disdain for modern toil and striving. Steinbeck portrays the friends' relationships through a series of episodic adventures. In one such tale, the friends try to make money by capturing a stray pirate who has been collecting wood in the forest. However, upon learning the pirate's simple dream to give a golden candlestick to St. Francis for the health of his dogs, they are moved and decide to honor his wish instead. The friends are constantly torn between their selfish desires and their deeper, nobler impulses, which often manifest in acts of unexpected generosity. As the novel progresses, Danny begins to feel the weight of his responsibilities as a property owner, which conflicts with his carefree nature and desire to be one of the paisanos. This internal struggle leads him into a state of restlessness as he battles against the sense of confinement and burden that his inheritance brings. Steinbeck interweaves the individual stories of the other characters into the narrative. For example, when the friends decide to steal some delicacies for an ill paisano, their plan quickly goes awry, and they end up guiltily consuming the food themselves. This illustrates the contrast between their intentions and actions, a recurring theme that serves to underscore their human frailty. The group eventually finds redemption by turning their ill-gotten gains into an act of charity. When Danny and his friends learn of the pirate's hoarded treasure, they initially contemplate stealing it. However, upon discovering his intention to offer the money to St. Francis, they renounce their plan and instead work together to help him present his gift at the mission. As time passes, Danny's inner turmoil intensifies and he begins to seek solace in alcohol and solitude, distancing himself from his friends. Danny's behavior becomes increasingly erratic and self-destructive, a clear sign that he's struggling with the constraints imposed on him by society's expectations and his new role as a homeowner. Meanwhile, the rest of the friends continue with their day-to-day -day escapades, which range from romantic entanglements to petty thievery always demonstrating a certain nobility in their actions, despite their moral ambiguities. Staying true to the chivalrous spirit, they also support each other in times of hardship and share whatever little they have. Danny's inner conflict ultimately leads to a tragic outcome when one day, after a series of wild escapades, he tragically falls to his death from a high ridge. The group is heartbroken over the loss of their dear friend, 
and they pay homage to him in their unique way. In a symbolic gesture of release from the burdens of material possession and a return to their free-spirited ways, the friends burn Danny's house down in a final act of farewell. The novel concludes with the dissolution of their tight-knit community as the Paisanos, without Danny's house to anchor them, drift away from Tortilla Flat one by one. In the end, they go back to their former lives in the periphery of society, carrying with them the memories of a time when they briefly had a place to call home and a shared sense of brotherhood. Tortilla Flat captures the essence of Steinbeck's compassionate realism, using a tender humor and appreciation for the beauty in human flaws. He crafted a tale of friendship, search for happiness, and the transcendence of material concerns in a world marked by poverty but rich in human spirit, all the while employing a parable-like narrative that indeed mirrors the tales of King Arthur's court in the simple camaraderie of paisanos.